Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? Welcome to another Aegis Brand Studios Marvel Crisis Protocol Battle Report. That is a mouthful. Uh, so a little bit of a different format today. As you can see, different environment. I am filming out of the, the wonderful studio at home, so everything is kind of cramped on this one. I am flying solo today. I have, I have no one with me, unfortunately. Troop uh, unfortunately had some, some other things he needed to take care of. So I decided to challenge the most incompetent opponent I have myself. Uh, so just going to have some fun. Just want to get something out there. Uh, I, I am happy though to be throwing uh, one of the new releases on here. Black Swan is going to be on the table. So we're going to be trying out just a little bit of fun. We have the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. led by Nick Fury and the uh, first of the Black Order led by Corvus Glaive. So let's go take a look at everything. So we have the first of the Black Order here. We got Corvus Glaive, Black Giant, and Black Dwarf. Uh, Black Giant is rocking the Infinity Gem Power, uh, the Power Gem, and Corvus does have the Reality Gem. And then we have uh, Med Pack, No Matter the Cost, Mothership, Black Onslaught, and First of the Black Order for our cards for the Black Order. And when you absolutely positively must accept no substitutions to defend the planet, we have Nick Fury and his Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, joined by Venom in this particular case. So we have Nick Fury, the Winter Soldier, uh, War Machine, and Venom. And their cards, we have Battlefield Medicine, The Initiative, a Sit Rep, Lethal Protector, and Eye in the Sky. Now these two scenarios were chosen completely at random, happened to get two very low threat scenarios with uh, Gamma Wave and Mutant Extremists. Uh, we, I, well, we, I did a uh, small roll off to see which of the two gained priority. Black Order did gain priority, and based on what we were looking at, I figured I uh, wanted to see how they ran at 14, so they actually chose the, uh, the 14 as their... Uh, as the threat here. So we have Gamma Waves and Mutant Extremists target U.S. Senators. And we have our board all set up, so we have all our objectives. We have a nice little cross pattern right here. Uh, so we're going to get the whole table set up. We're going to deploy everything and uh, go into first turn for Black Order. All deployed. We have Black Dwarf and Black Swan right in the center with Corvus going to go up the flank. See if maybe uh, Senator's kicking around there. <coughs> and then on this side, War Machine is looking to try and see if the Senators kick around there. Nick Fury, Venom, and the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. going to go right up the center with the Winter Soldier on the flank here. Going to see if it's over there. If we're lucky, you know, one of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. can take it. Um, otherwise, there's going to be a big old fight right in the middle there. So we're going to go into turn one for the Black Order. So what we're going to do is to start off, Black Order is actually going to pass their first activation. Uh, giving it to, because they can't, oh wait, no, 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 if they pass, they'll activate one, and they got three more, no, no, it'll be okay, because if they pass, yeah, yeah, it'll be okay. So what we're going to do, is we're going to activate the agents here, and they're just going to do a move, move, to get within range one here, and uh, we are going to see if we have a senator. All right, and hey, look at that. We got the Senator. So these side tokens are irrelevant. And the Senator goes on to the Agents here, which could be both very good and very bad. It means that they now have a massive friggin' target on their head. So I think what we're going to do is we will follow up with good old Nick Fury here. We're just going to get him up to there. Since murder has become a very real option for, uh, for the Black Order, we're going to activate Corvus Glaive. I think that's right. Yeah, we're going to activate Corvus Glaive. And, you know, I don't want him to commit too early just yet, simply because there is a Venom there that can uh, that can open things up. So Corvus is just going to move up there, and he's going to be securing that objective. Bucky is just going to do a move-move. Yeah, he's just going to do a move-move. 
and basically just get within range one of that objective there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to activate Black Swan next, and she's just going to move, you know, she's going to do something cheeky here. She is actually going to be spending two power to do a charge, and as part of that, she's going to spend one power, and Black Dwarf is also going to spend one power, and we're going to take advantage of the, uh, what is it, the Black Onslaught here. So what's going to happen is uh, she is going to charge forward like so. Actually, no, we're going to do this in a slightly different order. She's going to do her first movement just to get up there and just be within range two, I think. That'll get her within range two. Now she's going to spend the charge. Black Dwarf is going to spend the uh, the power as well. And now she, what she's going to do is she is going to move... She's going to move up here. So she's going to get within range one of, of the uh, objective there. So she is securing it. And uh, she now has a free attack. But before she does her attack, we got to place Black Dwarf. And we are just going to take absolute advantage of uh, his miraculous teleporting abilities here now. And we're going to place him right there. So there is some Black Order right in the face. And then she's just going to do her, um, her five dice strike attack against the... Uh, against the uh, the agents here. So, uh, oh, you know what? It can't be the strike. This has to be the I-beam, actually. So she's going to spend her last power to do an I-beam attack. So five dice. Okay, for three damage so far, and did get the uh, the pierce off there. So the, uh, the big old one defense here, no defense. So three damage is going into the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is going to KO them. Uh, what they're going to do, though, is they're going to drop the Senator back here because they can like so and the agents go away as part of the effect though nick is going to pick up a cup uh, one energy from uh, the agents taking some damage there that is also going to trigger the first of the black order uh, leadership ability so both black dwarf and corpus glaive are going to be picking up one um, one energy or one power for that all right, Venom's got to be the activation for S.H.I.E.L.D. because if uh, he doesn't, then Black Dwarf is just going to go over here and pick up that token. So he's going to spend his one power. He's going to grab that token. Unfortunately, that does put him out of range of anything else. So what he's going to do is we're going to hope that he actually has the range. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, darn. Um, he doesn't have the range to get within range one there. So what he's going to do then is he is just going to he's actually just going to move right into here then and uh, basically sit on the objective because otherwise he's going to take some damage actually no what he's going to do is he's going to go uh, he's going to go right there still stay within one he wants to be in front of nick he's going to use the gadget from the initiative to actually pass the objective over to nick in this case i think so Black Dwarf, he's going to move forward, but he wants to stay within range one of this objective here. Yeah, he's going to just move up to there. And, oh, let's see. If he's within range of Nick, he's going to punch Nick, which he is in range of Nick. So we got a six dice axe strike going into Nick Fury here. Okay, we got three so far, so three damage. Nick has four defense. And he's going to block one of it. So Nick is going to take two. That leaves us with War Machine, who, unfortunately, I don't think... He's going to end up taking some damage from the Gamma Shelters, I think, because i got to get some attacks in here. And I want to get an attack in on Black Dwarf there. So we're going to do a, uh, a Metal Storm. Now, unfortunately, Black Dwarf is going to get cover from this. So five dice attack with a Wild Bleed. And absolutely nothing. Ooh, that is absolutely awful. Uh, but that is going to bring us to the end of the turn. At the end of the first uh, first full round here, uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. will have three points because they're holding this objective, plus they have the Senator. The Black Order will get three points because they're holding the center objective as well as their home field one. And uh, Iron, or Iron Man, War Machine is going to take one damage for not being within range of a shelter. Uh, we're going to go into round two for the Black Order. Black Dwarf is going to activate first. He's going to spend two power for no matter the cost, and he is going to do an eight dice attack into, yeah, he's got the range, into Nick Fury. So let's see what happens here. Don't have the power to do a lethal protector or anything like that. Um, can I do an eye in the sky? Yeah, you know what? Nick is going to Nick is gonna spend his three to do eye in the sky. 
and just get himself out of dodge because he is not in a happy place there, uh, which is going to allow Black Dwarf to retarget. Uh, he's going to go into uh, he's going to go into Venom instead then. So eight dice into Venom for one, two, three uh, with the Wild Stagger, which is actually a very big deal here. And Venom is going to block with four. Oh, uh, so Venom's not going to take any damage, uh, but he is still going to be staggered. Black Dwarf is just going to go into Venom again with his regular attack here. This is the, the Axe Strike for three damage so far. And Venom is going to block it. That's out of the box here. Uh, Venom will... But he's going to block all of it again. So Venom's not taking any damage, but he is staggered, which is no good for him. Really, really kind of frustrating because I was hoping he would take some damage so we could actually do a counterattack. Uh, but not so much. Um, so let's see here. I think what we're going to do is we're not going to activate Venom because I think... Oh, no. Black Swan does have a charge. Ooh. Um, you know what? We're going to activate... Uh, you know, we actually are going to activate Venom. What we're going to do is we're going to spend one power on Venom. We're going to activate Sit Rep, and we're going to choose uh, we're going to choose War Machine here, who's going to be able to advance short. Yeah, he's going to be able to advance short because I want to be able to get him right over here. So he's going to he's going to be within range two. So no cover there. Uh, it also means he's within range one of the objective, which is kind of important. Venom is then just going to go into Black Dwarf, uh, simply because, you know, Black Dwarf's taking a little bit of damage for all you've got. Going to try and do a little bit more to him. Uh, got to spend that first action to shake that stagger. So we got five dice into Black Dwarf for a whopping one point of damage. Yay! Uh, and Black Dwarf with his four physical defense dice here. Hey, look at that. He's going to block it. So no damage is dealt, no bleed. Uh... <laughs> And that's Venom's activation. That was sad. I realized a misplay. Uh, unfortunately, she should not have been able to punch the uh, Black Swan. Should not have been able to punch the the agents on turn one. Uh, it looks like a power token had had fallen on there. Uh, we're gonna let it slide uh, at the moment because Black Dwarf would have gone in and and punched them anyway. Um, so we're gonna let it slide and just keep going, I guess. Black Swan is though going to activate. She's going to charge. And she's just going to do her uh, her basic strike uh, against uh, against War Machine here. So just just a five dice attack, but it does have a wild push out of the box. Only one damage. War Machine does get to counter. Uh, he will block it, but I think what's going to happen here? She's going to spend one to re-roll this one here. There we go. So uh, a point of damage is going to go through onto War Machine. She's going to risk taking the damage from not being within range of the Gamma Shelters, and she's actually going to do it again, because if we can push him off, uh, he's going to have to move to get an attack back. So five dice. There's the wild uh, the wild push as well. So two damage going in so far. Uh, and War Machine's going to block it. Uh, there's no point in... Oh, You know what? She is going to spend one. And she is going to, uh, yeah, she's going to use the telepathic suggestion again. We're going to reroll this. There we go. So one damage is going to go through and just, uh, just kind of nickel and dime uh, War Machine here, it looks like. That is also going to push him back right next to Bucky there. I really want to run away with Fury, but unfortunately he's, uh, he would drop the Senator in four rounds. And uh, it would almost be giving up some stuff. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to activate Fury. And we're going to move him up short. This is probably going to be a bad idea. We're actually going to move him up short over here. And uh, I think we're going to stay within range 2 of the, of the Gamma Shelter. So yeah, let's move him actually over here. So he's within range 2 of the Gamma Shelter, but uh, no cover for Black Dwarf there. And we're just going to do a Fury Special into Black Dwarf. So five dice physical with a Pierce. Okay. No Pierce, only two damage. To which Black Dwarf will get to block. 
Uh, yeah, Black Dwarf is just blocking all of it. Um, so no damage is dealt. Fury is going to gain one power, though, which is good. I would very much like to bring Agents in, but I think I'm going to hold on to the power for Eye in the Sky, just in case it's needed. Oh, no, you know what? I don't think it's going to be needed. So let's spend the two power and let us bring in some Agents here. Uh, so we're just going to drop the Agents just right there. So they're within range two of the thing. They're going to be getting some cover um, and hopefully get to do some stuff. Black Order is going to opt to pass uh, just to see what War Machine or Bucky does in this case. Bucky is going to activate. He's just going to move slightly just to avoid the cover for Black Dwarf there. Uh, I didn't really want to do that, but going to have to. And he is just going to do a four dice attack in to Black Dwarf for two points of damage. Uh, I did get the Rapid Fire and the Bleed off though, so that's actually that's actually very good. Uh, Black Dwarf, however, oh, Black Dwarf is going to take a point of damage. Very cool. And the Rapid Fire does go off, so we're going to shoot at Black Dwarf one more time for three damage this time. Sweet. Already got the Bleed off, so that doesn't matter. And Black Dwarf is going to block... Ah, uh, Black Dwarf's going to block all of it. So he's just going to take one point of damage in the grand scheme of things and a bleed token. That does mean Corvus has to activate, and I think what he's going to do is he's actually going to give up this back objective here. Um, because Corvus is all about the murder and mayhem. He's going to get right up here. And that does put him within range three of Venom. So he's actually going to drop the four power. And uh, he is going to do a, a big old death blow into, uh, yeah, he's gonna do a big old death blow. He's gonna target Venom. Uh, Fury does not have the three power to do Eye in the Sky. I did not think Corvus would actually have the range on that one. So we got a seven dice attack coming in physical uh, with a uh, wild and shield, or sorry, uh, yeah, wild and shield flurry. Uh, here's the wild and shield. So we're looking at uh, five damage so far, oof. So Venom does have four defense against this. Uh, Venom is going to block one of it, and he's going to take four points of damage, and I have nothing I can actually do against that, which is no bueno. Venom is going to activate uh, so many snacks, and he is going to counterattack at the very least, so five dice into, uh, into Corvus Glaive here. So let's see what happens. For a whopping one damage, that is awful. Awful! And Corvus is going to block it. So that is just, just terrible. Now, unfortunately, Corvus is more than range two away from anything, so there's not going to be any follow-up strike. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but you know what? He he did some good. He really put the hurt on Venom. All right, not a lot of options here on things to do. So I think what's going to happen is War Machine is just going to advance up to here. <clears throat> and he's going to actually spend three of his power to uh, to heal up Venom using Battlefield Medicine. So Venom will be down to uh, to one damage. Or he'll uh, he'll only be at one damage uh, out of his out of his potential seven. And then I think what he's gonna do is he is gonna go into he's gonna go into Corvus, I think. He's actually going to Rocket Pods. Uh, I don't know if this is the best decision, but he's going to Rocket Pods. He's going to start by targeting Corvus here. So four physical here for two points of damage. Corvus will be blocking with three. Uh, Corvus is only going to block one of them. So Corvus is taking... Uh, he's only going to take one point of damage because he's got that, that pesky little rule that all the Black Order seem to have, or a lot of them have, where they reduce damage. Um, and yeah, then we got the barrage, so he's going to put the four, the next four damage attack, well, it's got to go into Black Dwarf, because he's the only one within range two. Uh, for one damage, and Black Dwarf, oh, Black Dwarf won't block it, though. All right, fantastic. So Black Dwarf is going to take another point of damage. Surprisingly effective rocket barrage, uh, put a point of damage on both of them. So that's going to bring us to the end of round two. <clears throat> so... As of right now, the uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. are moving up uh, three more points, so they are at six. The Black Order is currently at five, because they did step off that back objective there. 
Um, but they are all in a prime murder position at this point. Black Swan, however, is going to take a point of damage for not being within range two of one of the Gamma Shelters. The Black Order, we're going to start with Black Swan, and what she's going to do, she's actually going to go after the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. with just her basic strike, because she wants to pick up a couple power here, uh, <clears throat> and because uh, that will give her a chance to do a charge into and everything dies. So, into the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. They can't block that. <laughs> There's just no possible way that they can block that. Um, so they're just taking everything and they are dead, dead, dead. Um, that is also going to trigger the first of the Black Order, which uh, means Corvus and Black Dwarf are both going to be gaining power. Oh boy. Um, you know, she's going to go for the throat. She's going to spend two power to do a charge. Now she doesn't have, oh, she does have flight. So yeah, so she's actually going to go right over to here. She's then going to spend full power to do when everything dies. She's going to target Nick. Now, Nick, I think, has to spend the three power to do Eye in the Sky. And he is just going to... Right up to there. So he's up on the uh, up on the building there. Uh, she's going to retarget. And I think what she's going to do... She's going to go into Bucky. Because if she goes into Bucky, Venom... Venom then has to make the choice of lethal protector or not. You know what? No. No, she's going to go into Venom. Um, I don't... Venom is not going to lethal protector. Uh, I love the idea of lethal protector. Oh, no, no. Venom's going to lethal protector. So it's going to be an eight dice... Uh, eight dice attack into Venom. Okay. I'm actually really glad I made that decision with lethal protector there. So uh, only through only two damage uh, so far. Venom is going to gonna block. He's gonna block one of it. So Venom's gonna take one point of damage, and uh, yeah, fantastic. Now I didn't get the I, I didn't get the the throw involved here, but we did happen to get the uh, the beam here. Um, I think what also gonna, gonna happen. Venom is just gonna go within range two over here just so uh, Black Dwarf doesn't give the free beats. And, uh, yeah. Fun. So, Venom doesn't have the power to really do anything back, unfortunately. So, he's just going to get... Uh, now he's just going to get I-beamed for, uh, for his trouble here. So, this is going to be a five-dice energy attack for two. And he's going to be incinerated, to which he will respond with... Oh! Oh! He'll block the damage. So he's going to be incinerated, but he didn't take any more damage. We're going to activate War Machine, and he's actually going to do a move and another move to take that objective. So that's going to maybe hopefully bring some pressure off of S.H.I.E.L.D. Black Dwarf is going to activate next. He's actually going to spend three power, and he's going to do a Black Fury, and he's going to throw the truck right into Bucky there. Um, because Bucky, I'm sure, had it coming. So that is five damage going into Bucky. Oof. Uh, of which Bucky is going to block one of it, which means, so he's not down and out, um, but he is hurting quite a bit. He has one health remaining before he dazes. Well, Black Dwarf was going to actually move and go into Venom, but I think what he's going to do now is he's actually just going to... He's just going to try and pop Bucky. So six dice attack into uh, into Bucky here. Oh god, yeah, that's I <laughs> I'm not even going to bother. Bucky is good and dazed. <laughs> so there he is, all knocked down and uh Black Dwarf is let's see, right now they're they're contesting. So he's just going to spend his other action just to move up within range 1 there. And uh, yeah, so he's taking the back action now. Or the back uh, gamma he is bleeding, though, so he's going to take a point of damage uh, for that. Before he ends, though, he does actually have two power. He's going to spend it on med pack for himself, actually. So he's just going to uh, regain... Uh, he's just going to regain three power, it looks like. Or, sorry, regain three health. So that's a, that's a very healthy Black Dwarf, uh, even after he takes the one. So he actually has uh, two damage on him out of a possible six. And because he dazed Bucky, both Black Swan and Corvus Glaive are getting a power. So Corvus Glaive actually has a nice big uh, chunk of power available to him. The weirdest part about this whole thing is I haven't really been able to take advantage of uh, Nick Fury's leadership here because Black Order has just been in my face the entire game. 
So I think what we're going to do is we're going to activate Venom, <coughs> and I think we're going to go into we're going to go into Black Swan because she doesn't have any damage reduction. So we're just going to do a, uh, a Symbiote Tendrils here. Just looking to put a bleed on her, maybe. Uh, that's two damage going through at the moment, and uh, she blocks with four. Uh, so I, I think she's I think she's okay with that. I think what's going to happen is she's going to take the one point of damage, and uh, yeah, and she's going to gain the bleed as well. But I don't think she really cares. He's going to do the same thing into uh, into her once again. He's going to try and get one more point of power out of this. Oh, oh no, oh no, that's not good because she also has the power to get those blank, uh, remove those wilds. Uh, to which she, uh, she's going to spend one just to turn one of these into a blank result. So she takes no damage in this case. And that was her uh, Midnight Field ability, which she can spend X to, to change uh, wilds into blanks. It also means that Venom did not get the extra power he was looking for to try and throw something, which is very unfortunate. So Corvus actually is within range three of uh, War Machine here. So he's actually going to do a, uh, a Glaive's Edge into him. Uh, mostly because we don't, he doesn't want uh, War Machine to be able to take that objective and just score some free points. So seven dice attack into War Machine. Uh, so only four so far, but Reality Stone is going to turn that into a crit. So that's going to be two, four, six points of damage there. And War Machine has four dice to defend against this with. So, so far he's blocking three of it. So he's blocking three of it. So War Machine's only going to take three damage, but you know what? That is enough, actually. War Machine has been dazed. And uh, Corvus is going to use that uh, his advance here. It's going to give up the objective for a moment, I think. Uh, no, it's an objective game, so he's going he's gonna to sit on it. And I think with that, he's just going to end his, uh, his activation. So there we go. So, so far, it's been a very effective turn. Uh, both Black Dwarf and Black Swan gain a power for, uh, for another person being dazed. And that's going to bring us to Nick. And Fury being Fury, I got to make sure that they don't get too many points ahead of uh, Shield here. He's just going to do a move move to get within range one of that objective there, just to make sure that they don't get too far ahead. Uh, Cause that means, that means that they're only getting three points this turn. Um, so keeping it within a one, a one point game, basically. That's gonna bring us to the end of round three and things are just really getting, uh, getting vicious here. Uh, so basically, uh, yeah, the, the Black Order is really causing a lot of havoc here. Uh, nobody's getting damaged. For the, for the Gamma Shelters in this particular instance, everyone is within range two. Um, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will be getting th uh, two points, I think, for holding... Yeah, they'll get two points for holding the Senator, and S.H.I.E.L.D. will get... Oh, so it's actually going to be a tie game. So they're going to... It's going to be 8-8 uh, eight, eight across the board as we go into the next round. We're going to start off with Corvus, who's going to spend four power to do a, uh, to do a Death Blow into Fury because I was not thinking ahead on that one. So we got a seven dice attack into Fury. This is treated as a crit, there we go. So four damage, um, no shields though, so he's not getting the, the flurry off. So let's see how Nick responds. Nick is gonna respond by blocking two of it. So he's only gonna be taking two points of damage. So Fury is still standing. He is going to advance as well, um, because what he's what's going to happen is uh, he, he wants to eye in the sky someone. So what he's actually going to do is uh, he's going to advance. He's going to get within range two. He's going to do a, just a basic strike, and I think he's going to target Bucky. Because if I tar if he targets Fury, Fury is just going to eye in the sky and get out of the way. Uh, or if he targets Bucky, <clears throat> I'm not going to I'm not going to do that to Bucky because then the attack just goes into Fury anyway. So he's going to go after Bucky in this case. Five dice. Oof. Oof. There's a couple skulls in there. So that's going to be a total of four damage going into Bucky. Fun times. And Bucky with his three defense is uh, going to block three of it. 
You'll block four of it, so Bucky isn't going to take any damage whatsoever. So that is actually kind of... Oh, wait, there's a Pierce. So Bucky's going to take one point of damage. So there we go. We're going to go with Venom next, and he's going to go into Black Swan, uh, hopefully being able to deal some damage here. So we're going to start with his five dice, his five dice Symbiote Tendrils in the Black Swan. Oh, nice roll, nice roll. For a total of four points of damage. Uh, all right, and Black Swan has her four defense here. She's blocking one of it, so she is going to spend one to change that wild to a blank. Uh, so she is going to take, uh, two points of damage, which is not what she was hoping to see here. Venom is then going to spend two, and he's just going to hurl the dumpster into Black Swan for three potential damage here. So let's see what she blocks. Come back here, you. Uh, she's going to block, uh, two of it, so she's going to take one more point of damage. So she is not happy. She has, uh... She has one health remaining here. Now, Venom could go into her and try and take that last point and daze her so she doesn't get any activations because she does have a big mean attack coming up. Or, yeah, yeah, I, I think Venom has to, Venom has to try and, and blank her out. I was really hoping to use a seven dice attack against, uh, against, uh, oh, you know what? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he, he's going to go into, uh, he's going to go into, uh, We Are Venom. Black Dwarf is actually going to spend the two power here and force the attack into him. So there's going to be a seven dice attack into Black Dwarf for We Are Venom. That's out of the box for four damage. Okay. And Black Dwarf is going to block with four and he's going to block one of it and reduced by one so he's going to take two points of damage and gain uh, gain a little bit of power there uh, so he actually has four of six venom is actually going to regain a little bit of health which is awesome for him uh, but unfortunately venom has no more power to do anything else black swan is going to activate and she's actually just going to try and take out bucky so she's going to spend uh four power to do a uh, everything dies attack into Bucky here. So this is uh, a nice eight dice physical damage attack for so far three, so only three. So that's that's not a lot there. Um, Bucky gets his three defense dice and he's gonna add a crit to this. She's gonna force, she's gonna spend one to force a reroll. So Bucky's only gonna block one of it uh, and I think that is kind of it. We did get the damn job, so we do have a follow-up. We have no throw, though. So that's, that's kind of unfortunate there. So Bucky's going to take two points of damage, and he's already maxed down at power. And he's only got, uh, what, uh, he's got, he's healthy, or he's got a lot more health than I would have figured. Uh, but what's going to happen is there is the five dice follow-up attack, the, the eye beam here, for two more points of damage. And Bucky is going to try and... Block it. Uh, can I spend another power to modify? Yes, she can. So she's gonna force a reroll here, and that's Bucky. Uh, oh no, it's not Bucky because he's only taking he's only taking two points of damage. So Bucky is still standing. He's not happy. He's only got one health remaining, uh, but he, he is definitely not in good shape. Uh, so I think what's gonna happen is Black Swan is just gonna do a basic five dice attack and just try and finish him off. Uh, at this point, and that is going to do it, yeah, that, that is, that's very likely going to do it, and that's Bucky down, so Bucky goes away, and that is a power to both Black Dwarf and Corvus Glaive, but it does mean Black Swan is going to take a point of damage, which is going to knock her out, uh, I think that was, I think that was definitely worth it. We're going to activate Fury, and he is actually going to try and do some damage into Corvus here. Because if we can take him out before he, he... Oh, wait, he's already activated, hasn't he? So, you know, we're going to try and do some damage into Black Dwarf here. Uh, because, yeah, we want Black Dwarf gone. So we're going to do a lead from the front. So we're getting a seven dice attack for this bad boy. So let's get those dice off to the side here. Nothing special damage, just a seven dice attack into Black Dwarf. Looking to do two points of damage. Ooh, that might do it. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven points of damage. So Black Dwarf needs an exceptionally good roll here. 
And he's going to block two of it, so that is not enough. Black Dwarf is going to get himself dazed uh, in this case. Okay, that, that is actually exactly what, uh, what Shield needed. And Nick is then just going to do a... Uh... Now, you know what? Nick is not going to do an attack on this one, because if he does an attack, he's, he's in a very, very bad position. So he is actually going to, because he's still stuck, moving short. He's going to move this way. I don't think that's enough. I think he's going to be taking a damage. Uh, oh, no, he is just within range too, so he's not going to be taking a damage. Uh, okay, perfect, 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 perfect. So that is pretty much going to leave us with War Machine here, who I think War Machine is actually just going to stay on this point because that is, right now we're looking at a six or five point swing. Ooh, six point swing actually. So this actually could swing because it puts a uh, shield up to 14. And Black Order is currently still sitting at 8, so as we go into round 5, we'll see what happens. Alright, going into round 5. Shield's actually in a really good position, so Black Order has to do a lot of work here. Um, so what's going to happen is we're going to activate Black Order for oh, Corvus first. And, oh, he is still within range 3. Yep, yep, just barely. Still within range 3 of, uh, of Nick over there. So Corvus is going to spend 4 power. And we are going to do another death blow into Nick Fury. This will very likely take him out at this point. So we got a nice seven dice attack. That's going to become a crit, wherever that crit symbol is. There we go. So that's, uh, oh jeez. That's going to be five points of, uh, of damage into Nick here. So Nick, who only has two health remaining, needs to block four of this. Which, even with a crit, that's not going to happen. He came very close, but it was just enough, unfortunately, to make it so uh, he goes down. So Nick is going to go down, and he's going to drop the Senator right there. But that is not all for Corvus. He is going to get his advance off. He gets to advance medium, so he's actually just going to advance up to here. And he's getting a free strike in against uh, Venom here. So it's going to be a five dice strike. For two points of damage, Venom is going to block with three because he is incinerated. Uh, he's going to block two of it. So thankfully, Corvus. Oh, there was a Pierce there. So he is going to take one point of damage uh, onto onto Venom here. But Corvus has another action. So Corvus is going to do another five dice strike into Venom here. That fell out of the box. So it's a total of uh, oh geez, that's right, reality gem. All right. So that's going to be a total of four with a pierce and venom with his three defense it's going to block one of it uh so basically what's happening here um that's four blocking one so three points of damage so venom is still standing and i think what's going to happen is venom is going to spend some power it's going to spend two for so many snacks and it's going to spend three for a we are venom and he's going to counterattack into corpus oh i was really thinking corpus was going to take him out with uh with him being incinerated and all so three points of damage, or sorry, four points of damage into Corvus, who gets uh, three defense dice and is blocking three of it. So only one point of damage is going to go through onto Corvus, uh, who has just been friggin' unstoppable this game. And Eddie is just going to heal one point of damage. Venom is full of no good options here. So he is going to do his five dice symbiote strike into uh, Black, uh, Black Dwarf here or sorry, Black uh, black Swan for, okay, for five points of damage. Uh, black Swan does have her, does have her uh, defense here. Um, she's gonna block two of it, and you know what, she's gonna spend two to turn it into some blanks here. So basically nothing's gonna happen here. Venom does wanna try and get some power here, so he's actually gonna go into Corvus Glaive next. Um, and I think Black Dwarf is actually gonna spend the two power needed to force the attack into him. So let's see. So, so far we got three. Okay. And I just realized something. Uh, oh no, it's modified defense size. I was thinking that Midnight uh, or uh, Black, uh, Black Swan could have done something about that, but no. So three points of damage into Black Dwarf, who will block one of it. So he's going to take two points of damage and he is once again bleeding because that is what Venom does. And he doesn't really have much else he can do here. Um, huh. We did get two power, though. And he could throw something. 
I don't think he wants to throw anything because I think what happens if he if he takes any damage, I think he wants to be able to do a uh, uh, a so many snacks to try and try and counter some stuff. Black Dwarf is going to do a six dice attack into uh, into Venom. He's just going to do his uh, his axe strike for big damage. So we got four damage coming in, and he will block with three because he's incinerated. He's blocking two of it, so he's going to block three of it. So uh, he's only taking one point of damage which is going to allow him to do some stuff here. He's going to spend the two power to do a, uh, to do a so many snacks and do a syndicate strike back into Black Dwarf. So five dice. Ooh, that's not very good. So two damage into Black Dwarf, who will block. Oh, so far only one of it. So Black Dwarf's going to take one. All right, Black Dwarf can live with that. And I think what's going to happen then is Black Dwarf is just going to walk back. It's going to take a point of damage, but he is going to uh, basically pick up the Senator and sit on, sit on the objective. Because I think that's about all he can really do, but that is, that's important. That's, that's four points right there. So War Machine is stuck. He needs to go to the center here. Otherwise, the Black Order does win because they're sitting on... Two, four, plus uh, another another three for seven, which would put them at, oh no, it puts them at 15 points, eh? Whereas if I just sit on that, that gives me three points. Ooh, hmm. Okay, interesting, interesting here, because it's currently 14 to eight. So right now, Black Order has, they have the Senator, they have both these objectives right here. Although Venom is contesting, but Black Black Swan will probably take care of that, theoretically. Um, hmm. Okay. So if they take all three of those, what, the, what are they going to be at? They're going to be at 15. Whereas currently, they'll go up to... Uh, War Machine's got to sit on the objective. If War Machine sits on the objective, that is still possibly a win. So he's just going to... Go right over to here, and we're going to see if Black Swan can YOLO. All right, Black Swan's got to do a bit of a YOLOing here, so her first action is going to bring her right to there. And then, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute here. All right. No, no, Mothership doesn't really help me in this particular case, because it would just slingshot off, uh, off him, which would... Oh, no, and she also needs the power. Yeah, she needs the power. So she's going to do that. Then she's going to spend two power for a charge, which is going to put her within range two and contesting that objective. So we're going to a round six, one way or the other. She's just going to do a strike attack because she wants to get the wild push off here into uh, War Machine. <clears throat> so five dice. No wild push. Okay, so we only have three damage going into War Machine so far, uh, who does have a four physical defense here. Uh, who will block one of it? Okay, so War Machine is going to take one point of damage because of his uh, his thing and his block. Uh, and Black Swan is only going to gain one hell uh, one uh, thing off this. Interesting. Okay, so that is going to bring us to the end of uh, of this round. At the end of the round, so nobody's holding that objective right there. Two points for the senators. Two points for the center. So that's going to put them up to twelve. And three points is going to put them up to fifteen. And oh no, because they're contesting, so they're going to be at uh, they're going to be at twelve. So it's fourteen to twelve as we go into round six. And importantly, as we go into round six, the shield uh, agents of shield actually get the first activation. So this is uh, this is going to be big. Really got to think about what's happening here. All right, I know exactly what's happening here. War machine is going to activate. He's going to get within range three, and within range two of that. Uh, that should be correct. Yeah, that's correct. And he's going to spend four power and he's going to empty the clip into, uh, into Black Dwarf. So eight dice, physical attack. Each crit is going to allow me to add extra dice to this, but War Machine is also going to take damage for each crit. Uh, so there's two crits. So he's going to take two damage so far and we're adding four more dice. Oh, that could have been so much better. Uh, so only five points of damage. Uh-oh. All right, let's see what happens with Black Dwarf here. Oh, he's only blocking two of it. So, uh, 
Oh, and he reduces by one, so Black Dwarf is actually still standing. Oh no! Oh, oh wait, he's got eight health. So it doesn't matter, so of course he's still standing. Uh, and then uh, War Machine is going to take two. That was a gamble, and it didn't pay off. Black Dwarf is just going to try and secure his position here. He's going to walk up. Ugh, spend an action to do that. He's actually going to spend the two power to do the to do the move action and, and add two dice to his next attack. And then he's going to spend four power, and he's going to do a ten dice... Uh, what is this called? A ten dice brutal end into Venom. Ten dice coming in. Oh, okay. Um, that's actually not that painful. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that is actually kind of painful. Uh, Venom is blocking two of it, so taking five points of damage. Uh, Venom, unfortunately, is dazed. So he is he is basically non-functional for the rest of this game. That might be it for the Black Order. At this point, there really isn't anything that uh, that can be done here. Oh man, uh, because let's see, Black Swan and Corvus Glaive just also gained a power from that. Um, I mean, because at this point, there's no way Nick is taking that objective, so they're getting three there, which puts them up to 15. So there's only one thing that he can really do here. Uh, and yeah, there's only one thing he can really do here, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, he is going to... Yeah, even that's not really a great option. He's just going to move to here, and he's going to try to uh, to go into... Uh, go into uh, 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 we're going to get within range two, actually. And he's going to use a tactical knife into uh, Black Dwarf here. I almost forgot to put a damage on Black Dwarf for his bleed. So Nick only has to do two points of damage here, which is very possible. So we got a bleed and a pierce. Okay. Okay, so we got the pierce off, we got the bleed off, so that's going to be three points of damage going into Black Dwarf so far. Black Dwarf has four defense. Oh my goodness! He did it! Holy <laughs> crap! Uh, so Nick comes in and just shanks Black Dwarf right in the back. That was amazing. Uh, okay, so the uh, the token will drop. Nick is going to pick it up. He's going to spend one to pick it up, uh, which is bonkers. Um, that was totally unexpected there. <coughs> oh my goodness. Uh, I, I suddenly don't know what to do here. He's then going to spend some power. He's going to put some shield agents right there just to make it so Black Swan can't get within range two. Uh, just give us some buffer against that. It's going to force her to do... Oh, she's got a charge anyway. But, yeah, it, it's something. It means she'll have to do one move action and one charge. Uh, so, okay, interesting. Let's see what's going to happen here. Corvus is going to activate and he's going to do a, uh, a death blow, I guess. Uh, yeah, he's going to do a death blow into Nick here. For a total of, oh my goodness, uh, in the box. So that's going to count as a crit. Oh wait, uh, no, well, he, he doesn't add another one because that was from the crit roll. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my goodness. And I roll one less defense die here because I'm holding the senator. Uh, Nick is going to take six points of damage and Nick is down. So unfortunately, that was very short-lived and then Corvus will just move and pick it up and call it a day and that's going to be the end. So at the end of the at the end of the round, uh, Black Swan doesn't really have to do anything there. She's sitting on there. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. You get three points over there, one point over there for four, plus another two points. That is enough to, uh, to give him six, so it puts him at 18. Uh, unfortunately, there's no additional points here for, uh, for the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so it's going to be a victory for the Black Order 18 to 14, I think it is, 18 to 14. Uh, yeah, so that was, you know, not, not too bad for an incompetent player like myself. Uh, I honestly thought S.H.I.E.L.D. was going to pull it around there at the end, uh, like just a couple rough first couple turns, but, you know, shanking Black Dwarf at the very end there, I was getting cocky, and oh, that would have been fantastic if that's what happened. Uh, anyway, if you watched this whole video, thank you so much for putting up with my, my solo gameplay here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully, you know, not too many mistakes were made. And uh, next video, uh, you, you can expect a return of, of a fellow gamer in this uh, for the game. Uh, this is not going to be a, a staple thing. 
So thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit that like and subscribe button if you like what you saw. You can also yeah, hit that super thanks. Uh, anything that goes into there goes towards the channel. And of course, we will see you next time. Happy Wargaming.